everybody, I'm back again with another video, and today I have a dun -dun 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 mac haul. I'm in the sports bra because it is super hot and I don't care. I bet you can guess what I'm wearing down below. So the other day I went to MAC just to pick up a couple of things just because I haven't really shopped at MAC in a while. I'm really about to for an Ulta just because there's so many different brands in one. I used to, I get I go through these phases of MAC. I'm not like necessarily like the biggest MAC fan, but I am one of those ones where it's like once you get MAC, you never go back. I love experimenting with all different brands, which is why I don't only shop at MAC. So I'll just show you my quick haul of what I got. First thing I picked up was this uh, Skin Finish Natural, and this is in the color Give Me Sun. Now they did change the packaging, and that's what I do not like. If you have any of these kind of organizers with your powders, they do not fit whatsoever. They are way too wide, so that's very inconvenient. I do not know why they changed it, but I don't know. It kind of looks like a little chocolate little cookie. An Oreo. So I just got a bronzer and it's this one right here. I've used it one time. It does look a little bit orangey, but I happen to like it. Uh, it's a really nice color just to kind of warm up the face. It looks better once you apply it with your foundation and everything, obviously. Just in the pan itself doesn't look like it would do anything good but make you look like an Oompa Loompa, but I promise you, it doesn't. I also picked up another Fix Plus. I'm always replenishing this. I just love it just to help refresh in my face. It is a very minimal makeup setting spray. I've asked many artists from there, so anybody who wants to say that it's not, it is, because many artists say that it is. It's not meant to completely hold your makeup. It's not, it's only Point, but it's a very light setting spray. I use this in order to make certain pigments or eyeshadows really stand out even more. And also with this one, the packaging has also changed. I actually really like this one. Here, I'll show you the other one. Here is the old one right here. I have just a very little amount left. And here's the new packaging. I actually really prefer the new one now. It's a little bit more sleek looking and looks really nice with that kind of foggy effect with the white lettering. I'm a fan. Now I also picked up a MAC pump just because I heard that this fits I believe it's a Lancome double wear foundation which I do have and that does not come with a pump so I picked that up in the hopes that it's going to fit I know it fits something that I have I just can't remember what and I also picked up a lip liner called strip down I've never tried this one it's just a really nudie natural pencil I'm gonna see how I like it it's really brownie kind of colored um, I don't know we'll see I mean I like it I think it'll kind of give a little bit more brown and more hue to my lipsticks that are basically making me look dead now recommend recommendation from a lot of you was sin so I ended up picking this up and I love this color it's like a beautiful ox blood red it's super sultry really bold when you pair it with max night moth it's seriously a dream I'll line my lips all around with night moth and kind of shade in the sides a little bit and then apply this blend it in vixen and a tube so then I ended up picking two blushes first one is raisin and it's this color right here it's super deep super different and it might be intimidating but don't be scared girl don't be scared I'm gonna swatch it for you it's like this really kind of burnt color which I'm gonna love for fall with with like a really strong contour I think it's beautiful uh, you can obviously like help fade it out like blend it in more and stuff like that but depending on how deep you want it I think that's a really beautiful color it's basically like a really I don't know it's like a burnt brick red and I like it actually it's completely different and then I got the color copper tone which I obviously love this color because I love these burnt orange type of colors and this I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it oh it's so pretty it really reminds me of like a margin and a prism put together or margin or no gingerly and prism put together which I love this shade so copper tone so that was my entire MAC haul I didn't go too crazy but this is already kind of quite a bit of what I didn't need I really just wanted to get a fix plus and of course I forgot my back to MAC and I guess I just have to make another trip so I hope you enjoyed my video go ahead and leave down below any new products that are out or are just you've just discovered from Mac that you might want me to try out or what you think I might like or other type of blush colors because I like like these kind of burnt colors and stuff like that I do have a couple Mac blushes already but yeah I like to hear your suggestions and all that good stuff and they, I know they came out with a new uh, concealer stick but I didn't really look at it because I already have enough concealers even though I'm a concealer junkie. But yeah. But leave your suggestions down below. I always like to try new things. So I will see you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Mwah. Woo